water may help me again. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I do front smith, tail side? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> okay, how do we feel, Rebirth? You didn't even ask, but Stacy Q, two of hearts. I don't know what else she sings. <laughs> I only know one song. I think my childhood is very unique and interesting and weird. I grew up on a farm and we had 22 acres. We had a bunch of animals and we had bunnies and we would like spin their fiber into yarn and then knit it. We did crazy things. We were like Amish people. <laughs> and now I'm in California. This is insane. I got into skating because of my older brothers and I always kind of did what you know they did. I always looked up to them. And so when they started skating I wanted to branch out and try it with them and then just like fell in love with it. There's a good skate scene in Ocean City, Maryland but not a lot of girl skaters though compared to here. It's insane. And I got invited to the girls combi. This was in 2018 and I was like Oh my God, these girls are doing these tricks on the coping. Are you kidding me? I was just like carving. They're doing inverts and front side airs and back side airs. Girls can do this, this is insane. That moment I was like, I'm gonna either push myself so hard and get good, or I'm gonna pick a different sport. Buccaneer and get some food and coffee. <laughs> Caffeine. I think California, especially San Diego, this is where skateboarding's at. This is the best place to be if you want to have a career, and especially the contest aspect of it. This is the place to be. My first nationals was 2019. It was my first big contest, and I was super nervous. I was like, oh my god, this is a nationals, you know, a contest that helps you get points for the Olympics. So I just was going into it with a totally different mindset and I think maybe put too much pressure on myself. I got a little nervous, but it was a really great experience. I did all the rest of the nationals, 2020, 2021, 2022. Do you guys skate a lot together? Yeah, I'd say like four times a week. So basically almost every day. <laughs> If I had to have one of Ruby's tricks, I would 100% have the back nose grab. She makes it look way too easy. If I could have one of Liam's tricks, I'd want to have Indy 5. He does that trick everywhere, every try, anytime. As soon as I heard about skateboarding being the Olympics, that was like the first major big goal in my mind. I was like, oh my god, I need to go to the Olympics. I feel like I got something inside of me to skate even harder. Being on Team USA just gives me butterflies when I think about it and it feels like a big skate family and when we all skate together and push each other and to be a part of something really important means a lot to me and you know skating with my friends it's ah so fun. <laughs> I just want to continue to show my love for skateboarding through all these contests and achievements. I would say this year I'm really looking forward to this video part. I'm really looking forward to this. I've put in a lot of work towards it and I just feel like this shows what skateboarding means to me and you know the core aspect of it. Biggest difference from 2019 Ruby to now is I feel like I'm me. I feel like I know what I like now and also being myself. <laughs> 